What is up guys? Welcome to the finale of Captive Minecraft. We complete every achievement or any that we feasibly can. We defeat the Wither Boss and we accept our dub. So we are back in the house fresh from defeating the Ender Dragon. We have a lot of things that we won't be needing and we're going to throw out the snowballs here. So we've got some more achievements which means more space. So there is a chest up there that a lot of you guys spotted and you were like, Vic, we must know what is in there. So, you know, first of all, let's open that one. Let us see. I've got a spare chest with me as well. So I can uh, determine whether we can... Wow. Imagine defeating the Ender Dragon and then getting defeated by a one block gap. That's awkward. You know, honestly, this snow is killing my frame rate. Aha. I steal everything in your chest. More emeralds, so a little closer. The Infinity Book at long last. Well, you know, that's fine. I guess if I get a good boat, don't have it. I can add that on. Um, did we already open this? No. More Emeraldes. Lingering Potion of Healing. Those would be good for the Wither boss. Which is a really, really tough boss. I know I'm supposed to be breaking all these. I forgot again. Okay, we have access to this chest here now. Some more gold. No, it's some more emeralds. So they're pushing me towards these monuments. And, I mean, I guess eventually... See, the Beaconator in achievement. That's going to be an issue. Because that requires a full four-tiered beacon. Which requires, I think, 160 blocks of materials. And that's nine material, and it's got to be gold, iron, or diamond. Or emerald, I should say. Ooh, we're one emerald away from the emerald beacon, which is very exciting. We're ten diamonds away, which we may have access to down below now that we've filled up more spaces. So monuments, that's an area where we can get a bit of completion in the house. You know what? Let's get these out of here. We've got an elytra. I totally breezed over the fact that we have an elytra. So this thing lets you fly. Oh, wait. Do you have to put it on instead of your chest plate? Is that how you fly with it? It is. So... Oh, wait, I'm, 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 it's, been, it's been a while, guys. It's been a while. Do a bit of flying around, but obviously I'm going to need a, a nice protected a nice protected chest plate. So there we go. We did a little fly around. I mean, if I had anywhere to travel, it would be useful. But in its current state, not a useful thing to have. Let's store this book away. Let me grab my lapis. Let us see if we can get a beautiful enchant on here. Look at that. The snow has scuffed everything. It's blocked all my enchantment enchantmations. Efficiency 4, will it be fortune? We don't know. Do I have a spare book lying around? I, yeah, we got we got two books. So we're going for those big, big max, max enchants now. I mean, realistically, no, we just got to go for that fortune. Come on. We've got levels to burn. It's just efficiency 4. Ah. Now, I've already got this sword ready to go. I don't really have any armor that, because I want to get a full diamond set. Am I really going to have to put a roof on this? I'm putting a roof on the damn enchant table. I absolutely cannot be having that. I mean, I've got a better pickaxe, which is lovely, but we have... No fortune. And we want to get as many diamonds as we can out of the diamonds down below. So we can get that monument completed. I don't think we're going to get all of the achievements, but I'd like to get all the monuments and all but two of the achievements done. That would be pretty darn cool. So we're going to go and collect some more iron real quick. Ooh, we have just discovered a new area while collecting iron. Torn journal entral, another emerald. So that's my emerald. Amulet of haste to be held in your offhand. Ooh, I know about this. This is the ice portal. Which I think is an Easter egg. I don't think it actually does anything. But it looks darn cool. Well, that was a nice little coincidence to find. So this is actually going to make getting a bit of extra iron probably somewhat easier. Oh, even more gold and emerald. I mean, and a saddle. If we stack up on like... Oh, we don't need any of the clay. I just don't know if even if I get all the iron or... I need to mine a thousand iron. Or a thousand of a resource. Let's go back to Del Surface. And let's get this stuff cooking. I mean, we can add it up at the end, but at the moment I have, like, look at that, three, like, math is hard, eight, eight blocks. So it's not as if we're going to be able to uh, get 160 anytime soon. So what do these journals say? One of them should have the key to the biome. Oh, so the guy who was in this map, he went through the, the ice portal to get out of here, the winter portal. Okay, that was the bats. That's the clue for the bats, but we will work that out. I think that one of the journals I did read says that if you dig in like that corner, you, uh, you're able to find the a, a quartz block that you can stand on that gives you the visit all biomes achievement but maybe you have to have every other one before you do that i feel like that's a good chance come on give me fortune there we go fortune three perfect so we can go get some more diamonds now so let's go and get these monuments completed actually i can do the emerald one right now which gives me villagers which i'll actually wait on and then if you breed the villagers you can also do an iron golem farm which then but you guys know i hate villagers <laughs> i do my head in then you can, that's another way to get the iron but yeah everything else looking good do i have a walk bucket here huh nothing really scares me too much anymore Okay, where we go to the, probably the most traumatic place 
on this series. Never have enjoyed going down here. I mean, we got ultra mobs off, but that just makes them less annoying, which is fine. These guys hide in the shadows and they're annoying. I also need to get the wither skulls, which is kind of annoying. Thank goodness it's not ultra mobs. Actually, if it was ultra mobs, this would, I just would have had to do this significantly more slowly. Can kill the ender dragon, can't kill a bunch of, bunch of mobs. That's an enchanted bow. Stay the heck away. This has efficiency four. Why does it take... Why is it taking a while to break? Why was my diamond pickaxe quicker? Hold up. Weird, but I don't want... I, I mean... I was about to say, I don't want to accidentally break the diamond. Yes, more diamond. We've got the fortune ready to go. Beautiful. That's a lot of diamonds. There we go. That should be enough to complete the monument. Perfect. We can see we can find some more down here. I'm mining so fast that it's not even updating that breaking these blocks. I mean, there is a lot of ore down here. But we do get to bedrock and it's like a kind of finite amount. Loki tempted to go for the Beaconator achievement. If I get all of this stuff down here, there's more of it down here. Or did we just find... Nah, I think we just found like a bit of a pocket of ores. Some more diamond. Let's do a stock take. So we have 24, 40, 48. We've got like 48 blocks worth of stuff. So 48 out of 1,000. This pickaxe is going to break. We're not even close. It feels like I'm getting a lot of resources, but we're not even close. Time to get the monuments made and call it a day. Okay, back on the surface. We got lots of diamonds, which is beautiful. We just need three blocks. One, two, three. Throw that out. This is spare diamonds for the road. Let's go down and make this beautiful little thing. We got some more junk to throw out. We don't need any of you things. I'm, you know, I'm low-key debating this, which is, which is ridiculous. Low-key debating it. Okay, let's get our full diamond armor set. Oh, yeah, we blocked this out when mobs were being annoying down here. Okay, Monumento Buildo. One, two, three. Bang, there we go. We lose the diamond, sadly, but I've got a full diamond set up top, and I feel good because I've completed another monument, another step towards completion. And we, Oh, we also got a totem of undying. A helpful clownfish. Huh. Now, looting three, that's good for killing, uh, I mean, that's what I'm, but it doesn't do damage. Like, it's cool, but it's not really that helpful, honestly. It's got this full diamond armor, which we're going to be enchanting to maximal levels shortly. Oh, we didn't get a diamond sword out of that, so we're going to make a new diamond sword. I think it's probably the best way to get that smite. It's just going to be eventually on a new sword. So, all right, let's make this with a, with a set right now. Looting three, oh, you love to see it with some sharpness. Smite 4, looting 3. Ah, oh, that's unreal. Unreal stuff. You don't get much more luck in that. Protection 3, no. I'm breaking 3, no. Breaking 3, no. I'm breaking 3, huh. It's not the end of the world. Protection 3, guaranteed. I'm breaking 3, love that. Protection 4 on the chest plate. Can't argue with that. No, I'm breaking, but it's fine. Fire protection, you know what? Blast protection would be nice. Um... Ah, uh, that was really, 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 really annoying. Everyone was waiting for it to happen. It's happened officially. I'm big mad, big sad. All right, and let's go and sort out that mess, and then we'll get back to work. Ag, That's just not what you need in the morning. Why, game? Why? Just when I was kind of preparing to settle down, you've gone and done that to me. You've... Oh, oh, oh I'm so sad right now. I'm so angry. Screw it, it's, it's not getting reordered. I just, I'm big tilt now. Okay, back to what I was doing before the bloomin' Fire Nation attacked and ruined my whole day. All right, let's just burn a level here. Uh, do I, no, no, just burn a level. Like, we don't care. We just want to get, okay, efficiency four, not useful. Protection four, lovely. All right, some blast protection on the helmet. You know what, protection four is fine. That protects us from all damages. So we've got a full kind of armor set there. Looking good to go now. All we need to do is we need to get this sword up to smite five, if possible. Oh, the 10 level way, please. Smite five, looting three. Got the bow, which we want to add infinity to. Oh, actually, you know, more bow to what I should be enchanting. You know, I might actually luck out and get with my, I need to do a new power four bow. I might luck out with it and get infinity as I go. Please don't make... In fact, I won't have to go hunting for more strings, which will be fine. Oh, we're actually under level 30. Wow. Incredible stuff. 
did not expect to actually go under. Damn, I really did burn through. Oh, I did it the wrong way around. I should have made the sword afterwards. Obviously, there's like, I could use like disenchanter things or whatever from 1.14, but we're going to go and spawn in our villagers and hopefully that's a way we can get some quick XP because you trade with villagers, you get decent XP. Could come in handy. There we go. All right, villagers set up. I've got to go and house them. Oh, they're going to be running. I should have blocked in their spawn. Hey, congratulations. You completed all the monuments. Love to see it. Oh, they're doing some farming for me. Mate, we got... Hey, the gang. Oh, no. Um, they are going to get killed during the night. Bad things. Oh, wait. Oh, you know what? I have a lot of, like... I could get a lot of emeralds out of these guys. What do we get here? We got, we got more clay. You know, I could get a load of emeralds because I could, like, grind books... And, and sugar cane and paper, get that guy going. The fact that we get one of each is pretty powerful. I've got to make sure that zombies can't get to him, so I need to make sure they're just safe like that, and then I can get to them by parkouring, but we've got to make sure zombies can't get up there. Wait, did you already infect one of my boys? Oh, goodness. Get away from me. He was so far away. Oh, just everything's falling apart here in the finale run. Now my cows are everywhere. You know what? Cows go everywhere. I don't... I just... Oh, I need them alive. I just need everything to be so much more optimized. There we go. Zombies can't get to you either. But I can get to you just by this. Okay, villagers are all locked away. Why Why is the creeper nation attacking now? No, uh, uh. This is disgusting. Oh my word. What's going on? Just trying to end the series, guys. Can you just back up? Right, let's go and light things back up. Most importantly, to keep my villagers safe. Oh, there's one on the run. Wait, I mean blacksmith. Oh, yeah, I can trade coal to him to get emeralds. But he's not in a very safe position right now. Move. Oh, my goodness. The zombie's going to kill you, and it's going to be entirely your own fault. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to use water to move this guy where I need him to go. Here we go. That's right. Towards safety. And I've broken all my rails. Do I care? Have I flooded my whole farm? Yes. Alright, stay. Stay. Don't you... This is why I hate villagers. This is why I wanted to have nothing to do with villagers whatsoever. What? What is your obsession with the... You can't go anywhere, okay? You're going down there. Cool. Yep, nod your head to the beat. To the sound of the beat. You're getting sealed in here. And there's nothing you can do about it. He's going to get out, isn't he? Before I come back with the extra blocks. My, my world is crumbling around me. Oh no, he's, he's stuck there. Alright, oh, this pig needs to go. Got to make sure that no one can get... No zombies can get to him. There we go. It is impossible for anyone to get to you. Now I can sell you some coal. But we won't bother. Alright, it's bow enchant time. I mean, how many emeralds do we need to get? We need to get a thousand, like, emeralds. Oh... Am I, am I really going to trade for these? All of these? Would it be quicker? You know, I just, I'm going to AFK grow sugar cane and cows. And that will get me enough eventually. Yeah, I can get... Oh, I don't know if I can be bothered. <laughs> I've, I've put everything in place to do it. I just don't know if I have the energy. <laughs> I don't know if I have the minerals. All right, let's continue with what we were doing. The bow, the bow, the bow. I've changed my mind again. I'm just going with infinity on this one bow here. In fact, we'll do one level 30. We'll see what we get. Maybe we get something good. Maybe we don't. Maybe we get absolutely scammed. Now, all we are left needing to do is um, get the other two wither skulls, which will take me probably quite a while. So we're going to store our gear in here. We need to take this with us, so let's not die with that. So if I have infinity, does it keep shooting arrows of slowness? No, it doesn't. It is time to go and grind wither skeletons for many time to come. Yeah, I'm just going to go to the nether. I'm going to brew up some fire resistance potions. And then we'll be on the way. Okay, we got the fire resistance. Couldn't even be bothered to make them the eight minute versions. I just need them to get to the spawner and then back from it. Alrighty. Now another long grind commences. Then we'll be ready to battle the wither. I've got everything else I need set in place, luckily. So rude, like, dude, I literally just got here. Oh, the frame rate. So I wanted to kill a bajillion of these guys. That would be another way to get resources, but they drop like two or three nuggets per kill. You need nine for a um, ingot. So 81 nuggets per gold block, and I need 160. So do the math yourself, 160 times 180 or whatever. It's a damn lot. 
that we need. Oh, quartz would have been good XP. We need some more of this. We need uh, four of these to spawn the wither. Now we want the wither scout to spawn and kill them. But yeah, basically, I'm just going to be sat up in here, killing wither skeletons for the foreseeable future. I'll let you know how long it takes me. Do we have it? Yes, we do. Okay. I lost my helmet. I got battered and bruised. That actually did not take as long as I thought it did. Maybe like, I don't know, like 20, no, 30 with a skeleton kills or something like that. So not as bad as I thought it was going to be. I guess maybe there's buff spawn rates on here, given that you're in captivity or something. But we are now ready to spawn the wither skeleton. So yeah, that was not the wither skeleton, the wither boss. My brain is so... What is it about this series? It just cooks me. It's something. We're ready to do that fight. Okay, there we go. The three skulls. We've got the soul sand to make the, the spawning platform. I'm just going to grab. Do I need an extra? Um, no, four, four is enough. I could take some of that with me if I needed. We don't need fire resistance potions, so let's put those away. We will, however, have lingering potions of health. Those will be really good. I just drop those on the floor. Like If I pad those two on the floor underneath me, I'm pretty close to unkillable. We've got those as like panic heals. I'm wearing my strength pots here. We'll take two of those, although... One of those should be enough. We'll take off all this scuffed armor. Put it there. We'll put on the big boy gear. Like a soul. Okay, this bow does nothing for me. Um, we've got the buckets of milk in case disaster strikes. A water bucket. I don't know why that would be useful. We've got the god apple. This is going to be huge. That's another achievement as soon as we have that. Um, we'll have a splash and we'll have a lingering health too. And we'll have that lingering too. I think, honestly, with all these lingering potions... Will be pretty safe, to be honest. Got my bow ready to snipe. Have that there. Um, we'll probably drink that just for the melee stage, I think. Yeah, we'll know when he's going into that. Pickaxe in case I get like stuck. Probably more important than ender pearls. I think this loadout is all good. I think it's time to go down into the depths and set it all up. And it'll be interesting to see. I mean, I've got an extra life as well. I can die, and it'll just use that totem when I'm dying. And I, yeah, we'll know how well I did or not. But I shouldn't die twice, right? Okay, so rather than building my own tunnel to spawn him in, I think I'm just going to spawn him at the other side of this tunnel right here. And I can kind of snipe from the far side when he first makes his way in. This is going to be very scary. But I think I'm ready for it, you know? I've beaten him before. I'll beat him again. So we start with set like this. We go one, two. I put that in the middle. Okay, let me just get my order of thoughts ready. So I put that in the middle. He's going to spawn. I'm going to run back. I'm going to start sniping him. When he gets towards me, I'm going to pop this golden, this god apple. Keep sniping him till he's kind of low health. Then I'm going to... Oh, do I just Rambo him? You know, maybe I spawn him in. I eat the god apple. I drink the strength potion. I go full send in with the sword. Then when he's out of sword range, I switch to the bow. And then for the melee stage, I should still have strength. That is the plan. So here we go. All right, we're going to send it here. It's time. I only get one shot at this. Let's go. Oh. That was an anti-climax. you think it's because there was, like, blocks in the way? That was scary. Okay, there we go. Alright. Let's wait for him to come to life. He coming to life. He's going to do his big boomer. And that's when we eat the apple. No time wasted. Okay. He's trying to run up. Which is not a good news. I need him to come down here. So I can melee him. Or you're not... We got him, we've got him in a good spot here. Let's just try and get him down to uh, melee as quickly as possible. We're actually yet to get uh, we're withered now. He's drilling me down. The problem is if I try to build up to him, he'd still be messing me up. If I could have got a hit then, that would have been good. Probably taking too many hits here. Just use, I want to use little bits of cover like that because that's actually protecting me from like a third of his shot. He's going to be in melee mode soon. It's when he's in melee mode, we need to be ready to... Uh. Okay, I think I'm actually hurting a bit there. Let's just back it up. Oh, he's in melee mode now, so... Let's drink another strength to make sure it's on. Because we're going to lose it in a little bit. Alright, it's time to go man mode on this guy. Alright. Come here, boy. There we go, he's in melee mode. I've got my healing area up here. And oh my goodness, the chops, the smite five. Just does the absolute most. We've breezed through that battle. 
Very, very nice. Like a breeze block. Not even that hurt. Armor's not even hurt. Ah. We prepared well. We fought well. That is, boom. Another two achievements gone. Overpowered. Done. So that, we can't really do. Beaconator. So there is a way to do that, but I just don't exactly know how. Beaconator. Create a full beacon. <sighs> I mean, I just... <laughs> I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. I can't do it. I can't do it. Literally, all I would have to do is what you saw me doing. Just keep trading with the villagers. Mine up every single ore. It would probably take me like four, like four or five hours, which is like longer than I played this thing in total. Just to get that final achievement. Okay, we got our obsidian. We have our nether star. We take the glass. We go here and we do a one, two, and a three. Boom. We have a beacon. And you know what I can give you guys? I can give you guys a level one tier to place it on. So let's get six blocks there. Let's get another four there. That's actually enough for a tier of one. Throw out some junk. So let's get this thing set up. So I would have to do another four levels down of this to a nine by nine to get the Beaconator achievement, which it would just take an absolute age. But what we can do, we can, we've powered it up to level one, but you have to do a max beacon, which is that many blocks. So, so many more times. I could spend three, four hours doing it, but as far as I'm concerned, I've, I've done all the challenging bits. It would not be challenging just grinding out extra resources to get that. And then once we got that, it would invent a quartz block over in that corner that would allow us to discover all biomes. This is 100% completion without spending three hours just giving villagers items and mining iron. Hopefully you're not too bothered by that. I've had a blast playing this series. I was gonna end it at the end of Dragon, but this is like 99.9% .9 completion. It was a grind. We had our ups and downs, our struggles and our successes. Thank you all for tuning in once again. Keep an eye out for How to Minecraft Season 6 coming soon and lots of other cool Minecraft content down the line. See you all next time. Thanks and goodbye.